Come on, what's up, me poor love and come on. Oh, then come on. Assalamu alaikum, rahmatullah ta'ala barakatuh. My name is Ibrahim Shahid Muhammad Chiche. I'm a retired head teacher. Now I'm a voluntary missionary in the Ahmadiyya mission in my Nanjiwan region. My journey to Ahmadiyya community is as follows. I was at Roti Funk, a town in the southern region. I was under one Imam who was a Malikia Muslim. Because of that, I was influenced to become a Malikia Muslim. Within that period, my Imam at that time was a well learned man. He used to talk about the coming of Pantamadi, Pathamadi. That is the victorious Mahdi is coming in the future. He used to say that. He has some books he used to read when he used to tell us about this. At the same time, when I was in school at Chotipu, I had a friend by the name of Molvi Abbas Kamara, a local missionary for Ahmadiyyat. He also used to tell me about Ahmadiyyat and he used to give me some literature books. While I was reading those books, I came across about the prophecy of the Holy Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam that a Mahdi will come in the latter days. And when he comes, he will unite all the, 90, uh, the uh, 73 sects of Muslims, bring them together. When I compare what my Alpha was telling me and what I read from those hadiths, from the literature from Ahmadiyyat, I was convinced that this is a true Islam. Therefore, I joined Ahmadiyya at the time, 1973. What I see in the message of the Promised Messiah, alayhi salam, that attracted me to become an Ahmadi is as follows. First and foremost, I was not belonging to a community which is divine. I was a Malkia, as I told you earlier, but now, when I came to Ahmadiyyat, I saw the truthfulness and the fulfillment of the prophecies of the Holy Prophet وسلم, about the coming of the Mahdi in the latter days. In accepting the message of the promised Messiah as Mahdi, the changes are many. First and foremost, I was just an ordinary believer. My prayers were not regular. But now all my prayers are regular, including Tahajud and Sunnah prayers. The other difference is that I no longer take part in uh, some of the innovative things which are added in Islam, like the 40 day ceremony, seven days and three days after the death of somebody. Now we don't participate in that. That's a very great difference. I always try my best to follow what the Quran says and what the Promised Messiah and Mahdi try to teach us. Because whatever we know that the Prophet did not do, we never take part. This is the changes I have.